Hey dudes, so it's Soltis here. And today I've got another simplified guide for anyone aiming for level 60 in World of Warcraft Classic. After making four different phase one gearing guides, I started noticing a very distinct pattern that fresh 60s will need to follow. So naturally, I thought it might be a good idea to take a step back from specific classes for a change and create a general early endgame guide that everyone can use to get started once they get close to the level cap. In order to make this accessible to all players, I haven't included anything that requires a guild or lots of gold to do. Though I will say that, like any activity in Classic, there will definitely be a substantial time investment required to achieve success at 60. But that being said, let's get right into it. Step 1. Do these quests. Even before level 60, there are lots of really rewarding quests out in the world that can help you to get geared up and ready for the endgame. While not all of them are applicable to every class and spec, here are just a few that most players should aim to complete as soon as possible. First up, the quest in Dreams in the Eastern Plaguelands has amazing rewards for all classes and should be completed by every player. The Battle of Darrowshire, also in the Eastern Plaguelands, awards a nice tanking ring and a healer or caster necklace. The quest's Order Must Be Restored for the Alliance and the Scarlet Oracle Demetria for the Horde in the Eastern Plaguelands award a bow, a wand, and an intellect shield. You are Raklik Demon in the Blasted Lands awards a 16-slot bag, among some other things. Heroes of Old in the Blasted Lands awards a mana per 5 trinket, so it's really good for healers. And finally, the quest It's Dangerous to Go Alone in Ungoro Crater awards a melee main hand or a caster healer offhand, as well as a trinket that everyone gets. This trinket is especially good for paladins who are considering tanking because it allows them to pull from range, so really consider getting that. But also keep in mind that protection paladins aren't really a thing in raiding. Step 2. Get attuned for Molten Core and Anixia. After or in between completing the quests listed in Step 1, you should begin working on your Anixia's Lair Attunement quest, as well as do a full run of BRD to get attuned for MC. Especially early on in WoW Classic, raids will pretty much just have to take whoever's attuned. So if you're one of the lucky few that's ready to go in the first month or so, you may even be able to skip over some of the dungeon spamming later on. Maybe. That being said, getting attuned for these raids requires several dungeon runs in BRD, LBRS, and UBRS. So you're pretty much guaranteed to get some gear along the way. Unless RNGesus hates you. Step 3. Run Blackrock Depths. Alright, assuming you've gotten attuned for Molten Core and Nixia already, you're probably already somewhat geared up. If not, there is one dungeon that is extremely lucrative for pretty much every class in the game, Blackrock Depths. When creating my gearing guides for priests, caster DPS, rogues, and warriors, I found myself constantly repeating this dungeon in particular. BRD just has so many useful items for every role, class, and player that it's hard to ignore it. Do a few full clears, and you should be decked out in no time. Of course, if you'd rather run Stratholm, Skullaments, and UBRS, you totally can. And if you want to aim for a pre-raid best in slot, there's a ton of items in those dungeons, and others. However, in general, they're just not quite as lucrative as BRD, in a general sense. 
Step 4. Buy gear. When all else fails, consider buying some gear. Hopefully, you'll be geared up well enough just by doing your attunement quests and a few more dungeon runs. But if you really can't take it anymore, hit up the auction house and look for some deals. There are bound to be some random items posted for cheap that can help round out some slots. If you're not in a hurry to save up for that epic mount, consider investing a bit of gold into your character. Though, to be honest, I personally won't be bothering with this step. I'm a cheapskate. So, there you have it. An extremely simplified four-step guide for everyone planning to cap in Phase 1 of WoW Classic. Obviously, there are other things that you can do, and a lot more dungeons that you'll have to run if you want to get your full pre-raid best in slot before stepping into MC. But I think that for those of us who want to get raiding as soon as possible, this is basically the best approach to early endgame. I hope you found this guide useful, or at least interesting. If you did, or if you think that I should add anything to it, let me know by leaving a comment down below. I read all of them and appreciate the feedback. If you'd like to see more content like this, Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications when I release more guides. Also, check out my blog over on Blogspot, as I have this guide and others all written out over there. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter for updates, and consider supporting me over on Patreon if you'd like to see more content like this in the future. Thanks for watching, and as always, take it easy guys.